What's happening folks, it's Kirk from Whitetails Deer Hunting. Working at Hector Wine Company this summer, just got done day on the farm, time to go home and get cooled off. I'm gonna make a video for you guys tonight on how I take an old tree stand with a ruined seat and convert that into a tree stand with a brand new seat that's comfortable and ready to go for this season. We'll see you guys in a couple of minutes. So tonight I just got a small project. Uh, I've got an old metal ladder stand here that we've used for years. The metal ladder stand itself, itself is uh, really still in pretty good shape. But as you can take a look and see, um, UV light got all the straps. So the straps all snapped. Uh, the seat's really in some pretty bad shape right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and refurbish this stand tonight. And uh, we're gonna get this thing ready for hunting season in the fall. First thing that I'm going to do with a tree stand is get rid of all these old parts. They're all rotted out from UV damage. Definitely something that's really important when you guys are checking tree stands every year. Uh, one of the most important things is to check all those straps and make sure that they have not rotted out. Definitely strap maintenance is really important when you're sitting down and taking a look at your tree stands every year and just checking to make sure that they're safe and they're in good shape. So I'm going to get rid of all these old straps that I have right here. Got a couple of straps that we had a seat on that I may be able to use again. I'm just going to have to really take a look at them and evaluate them and see whether or not they have UV damage. What happened was we originally had a cushioned seat in this tree stand itself. And the chipmunks and the squirrels got to it and totally destroyed it. So in the middle of the season, we just cob jobbed a real quick piece of wood together to go ahead and put in this tree stand. It's been sitting there three or four years. Uh, the tree stand has been comfortable to sit in, but now it's time to go ahead and change this out and get a good piece of wood in here and get this tree stand taken care of and ready for the season coming up this fall. Got some paracord here that we use to lower our bow or gun up and down into the tree stand. We gotta do some work on that carabiner clip too. We had some camouflage paint on it, but that camouflage paint is gone. But that's something I can do towards the end of this process of refurbishing this tree stand here. Here, even these two bottom straps were rotted. As I get this tree stand out, I see that it's pretty dirty and dusty. I know I want to do a little bit of touch up paint on it. So I'm going to go ahead and spray it down and go ahead and clean it a little bit. So while I'm working on the actual cutting of the seat and working on the straps, I can let this dry. And then once it's dry, I can touch up some paint on some of the areas that have chipped paint or have some rust spots on them. Just to give you guys an idea of some of the materials I'm going to be using, uh, there's the paracord that I took off that I'm going to reuse again. And uh, this carabiner, I'm simply going to touch up with some paint when I touch up the tree stand. The two straps that I got off are still in really good shape, so I'm going to reuse those. I got a drill so that I can go ahead and drill some holes in the top of the wooden seat so that water runs through and it reduces any water that may sit on the top and cause excessive rot. Uh, just got to go ahead and cut a board in half. So I got my circular saw 
and then this soft seat we'll take out with us whenever we go to sit in the stand instead of leaving a soft seat out there that way the critters don't get to it and chew it all up and that way when we come out it's not soaking wet when you sit down here's tape measure and a straight edge I have to go ahead and uh, cut this board in half here's the old board that I have you can see that really um, the rod is set in on it pretty good. Uh, the underneath part of it you can see has all been chewed up by chipmunks and other rodents. So guess what? See ya. That one's out of there. This board that I have right here, actually I've just used as uh, a base to camouflage paint some other small pieces. So I'm actually going to cut this in half and use it as double ply before I had go ahead and cut a hole in it so that I can put the straps down into it. Not going to spray the whole thing, that's for sure. Uh-oh. Covered up the warning. I'm getting in trouble now. Gonna go ahead and just clean these up a little bit. We got some dust and dirt and dog hair and all sorts of other stuff on them. Then uh, I'm gonna drill some holes for water and uh, I'm gonna get the jigsaw out and get some holes cut for the straps. Then we'll go ahead and paint these. Go ahead and get these boards lined up the best I can. I'm gonna go ahead and clamp them together. So I've got these clamped together now. I'm gonna go ahead and measure just a couple places, just to try and find about where the center is. Just put a mark right there. And end up wanting to put a hole in a couple different places. <laughs> Go ahead and put the primer coat on the back side of these. Again, really trying to make sure that I take care of getting paint in these holes just to give a little more protection from the elements. So here's this Rust Oleum Premium Lacquer paint that I'm putting on. It's kind of a rugged black. It's got a little bit of a um, texture to it, a little bit of a rubberized paint inside, so it helps to offer just a little bit more protection. So it's a lot easier to put this on with the tree stand upside down. I've got the straps actually through both pieces of wood right now. I'm going to take these straps here without the buckle and wrap them around the main frame and I'm going to take these straps here that have the buckle and do the same thing on the opposite side to wrap these guys around the frame. All I have to do is insert the strap up into the buckle, pull it taut, do the same thing with this strap through the buckle, pull it taut. And once I get it to this point, then I can play around with it a little bit, flipping it back right side up. Adjust these straps. Try and get the seat fairly level. I want to come down a little bit. I got some short legs. 
I don't want my legs to fall asleep while I'm sitting in a tree stand all day. So here it is. If you take a look, I got a new seat on this stand. Uh, cleaned it up a bit with some black paint. Some of the areas that were kind of nicked up and some of the areas that were starting to rust a little bit. Now we can go ahead and uh, get this stand back up to the farm. Get it out on the property. We've got least one if not two places that we're thinking about putting this stand so we'll see if this thing actually works right here I've got my gun rest here I've got my seat elbow rest I've got my feet up on it there we go new seat on an old tree stand as soon as we put a soft cushion on it sitting in the tree be able to sit here all day in the fall Gonna get this tree stand back out in the woods and look forward to hunting from it this fall. Hope you guys like the video. Please subscribe. It's Kurt from Whitetails Deer Hunt. We'll talk to you guys soon. See ya.